Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Scorpio, I'm doing your reading with my three decks uh, blended into one. So you will see a mix of all three in your spread today. So we've got the journey card on the split and the magician at the bottom of the deck. That's interesting because the magician was in yesterday's split as well. Um, so <clears throat> it's actually looking to me like kind of, a, um, a quick overview or summary of the transition that you're going through. I want to say that you're moving from a phase. It's interesting. It's like, is it a phase that's been difficult? It's not that the, it's not that it's been difficult. I want to just say that it's been a long road. You're at the point now where it's transitioning into something else. And so it's feeling really maybe heavy for you because you seem to be at this incredible kind of choice point trying to figure out what to do or how to proceed. And so it's like that decision itself is actually making it feel more um, weighted than the actual journey has been, if that makes any sense. And then the magician card coming next after that is talking about like that's, I want to say that's what you're moving into. You're moving from uh, kind of the wrapping up a long journey into an energy that it will feel more magical in the sense of maybe it's kind of um you know empowering you as a as the creator being that you are right moving into a phase where you will be feeling the um the power of your ability to create um perhaps really independently actually because it looks like you may be uh kind of figuring out how to or if you should wrap up <clears throat> wrap up a situation that may be involving others because the contract card is here on the table. So perhaps if and when you um, uh, walk out of or end of that contract, you'll be moving into a more independent phase where you will be really moving into this magician energy. Okay. It's interesting actually. This journey card is talking to me about a lot of the, if it's feeling like a really heavy moment for you right now, I want to say that a lot of that is stuff that you're carrying from other people. Because that's coming up here too as well with this fool card. It talks to me about um, kind of carrying the burden or worrying about other people is adding to the, um, you know, the emotional weight of the situation for you. Okay, overall energy because I'm just getting really strongly that it's not the, it's not the journey or the chapter that you're coming out of. It's interesting how everybody seems to be at this kind of completion point right now. It's not the phase itself that is feeling heavy or causing you to feel kind of run down. It's the fact that it's wrapping up. That's where the stress is coming in for you. Um, is that it's wrapping up and you're needing to make a decision. That's the, that's the difficult point for you, not the situation itself. If that makes sense. Okay overall energy from the creativity oracle cooperation okay so that's really fascinating as i'm just saying here i'm talking about the fact that it feels like you're moving from a situation where you may be working with others and not that what you're doing next isn't working with others but it perhaps it is the end of a particular relationship or um group project you know work situation whatever it is so I'm seeing here that there's a lot of independence coming for you, at least at this, at least making this choice at this time is a very independent endeavor in a sense. But at the same time, it's like it really wants to involve the others in this process. That's what I'm really seeing here on the table is that you're kind of, you know, in this heavy moment trying to make a big decision about how to make this next move for yourself. And from what's, um, sorry, I'll just show you this for a second. The cooperation card has got these three individuals here. It says cooperation on the back. Your goal, your goal can benefit from you surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Okay, so um, interesting. Okay, so because what's what's here on the table, especially in the beginning here, is it's, it's almost like you've gone 
um, I don't want to say recluse or hermit necessarily, but you're definitely, it looks to me like you're taking a lot of time on your own, um, specifically maybe sitting in meditation or contemplation. You may have actually gone somewhere kind of on vacation or actually physically removed yourself from the situation that you're, um, that is weighing so heavily on your mind right now, because it's starting with the eight of eight of earth, which is interesting because this card does talk about work generally, but I see it as sacred space. It's like you've gone to your sacred space or you are um, doing things that bring in that kind of peaceful, uh, it's interesting, I keep wanting to talk about a hum. It's like finding that place where there's that, that humming vibration where you can just um, chill out and flow. Maybe it's, the, maybe it's some sort of a, a trance, maybe you're um, maybe you are journaling as I'm, as I'm looking at this card here with the contract, I'm suddenly seeing that that could be your sacred space is this kind of writing that gets into a rhythm with the, this instrument here too. It's talking about a rhythmic, something that could kind of lull you into a space where you know that you can receive information here. You've got the ace of air and the ace of fire, right? So this is your goal. Your goal is to bring in fresh new ideas, fresh new passion, fresh new energy to a situation that is being defined by the contract here, right? So it's like you want to bring something new to a situation that you've been in for some time. It doesn't have to literally be a contract, you know, like a work situation, maybe a mar it could be a marriage, something like that, but it's just some sort of an agreement that is absolutely implying that there's a relationship involved, right? It's like this agreement with another is weighing on you at this moment because you've gone into this sacred space here, right? With these two cards, this Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. You know, you've taken your guitar out to the beach or out into the woods and you're just spending time out there, but you know, with this, with this on your mind, because the sun card and the contract are coming next Okay, it's looking to me visually like this. It's like you're in, you're in this space here in this, it's like this. You're in this space here in the middle and you've kind of brought your instrument or whatever it is that helps you find that, that peaceful state in your mind where you know clarity is going to come in with the sun, right? It's like you're, maybe you're sitting out in the sun, all that. This is, this is the, it's almost like the environment that you have set up for yourself because you know that it's exactly the space that you need in order to come to this decision here or some clarity about this contract. But what's interesting is like, I almost want to say that this, this con whatever the contract is meaning to you at this point in time, whatever the agreement is or the relationship is that you're thinking a lot about, it's kind of in a sense, in a sense, kind of casting a shadow into this sacred space energy is what I'm seeing. And basically what that's talking to me about is that this isn't, isn't something that you usually bring into this space. So it's a, it's kind of a new consideration in this sacred space and it's casting a bit of, I'm just saying that because of the sun, because the sun is kind of blocked out a bit, right? It's like this place is where you go. It's like a guaranteed kind, kind of safe place or creative space. Maybe it's your studio, whatever it is, when you're there, energy flows, you feel really good, but it's like, because this time you're bringing this, this consideration into it, it's changing the energy a little bit, right? Which is completely okay. It's just talking about like, you're going there specifically with this consideration on your mind. And I mean, that seems to be exactly the right thing for you to do because that's the space you go to to figure stuff out. But it basically, it's just wanting to come through as this is the first time that you're bringing this situation into the sacred space, okay? So, and then with the Ace of Air and the Ace of Fire, with the um, goal of bringing some renewed energy to this to this situation, if it's not just clarity of mind, it wants to it wants to come through as renewed, like new ideas, or new passion. You want to bring new ideas and new passion into a situation that you've been in for some time with this sacred contract, right? With this agreement. So, and I want to say the reason why that is is because with the completion card, like I said, everybody seems to be going through a, a completion of some sort right now. The completion card, the closing door, it's looking to me like you know, you have a feeling, a suspicion, an intuition, 
maybe there's an, an actual literal end date. Like it could be actually knowable exactly that this, like that this work contract is ending, whatever it is. It's like, you know that it's coming to an end, but it's like, you're not quite ready to either admit that to yourself because it looks like you were trying to bring in all of this new, fresh energy to the situation, almost kind of to re <clears throat> animate it or kind of, uh, you know, bring vitality to it in order to keep it going for some time longer, perhaps, right? Because the completion card is followed by the fool's embrace trans transmuting pain. It looks to me like when you consider the idea that this situation may be ending, it does bring a lot of pain to you, right? But again, like I was saying with this card, <clears throat> I'm wondering how much of that pain is actually related to you and how you're feeling about this situation wrapping up and how much you may be kind of um, assuming or, yeah, assuming the pain of others. So you could be projecting or um, suspecting that it may be difficult for others if, if this situation ends, or you may be actually literally trying to carry the burden of this ending on behalf of other people. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, it could be yours, it could be yours, but this card recently has been talking to me about the pain that you're trans attempting to transmute actually is belonging to somebody else. It's not actually yours. So that may or may not apply here, but it does feel like, like I said, the door, the situation is wrapping up. The door is closing on this phase of your life. You have an intuition about that or, or a direct knowing about that. And it's like, you're trying to keep it alive, right? It's like, it's like you've gone into this space to figure out how do I refresh this situation? What can I bring back to this situation that will make it, um, me, make me or the others in this situation kind of recommit to the situation, right? And then you've got the dragon's horde and the coyote coming next. So this is talking about the future, right? This is protecting the future and the coyote. So it looks like this to me. It's like you're completely split between the past, which is, be, which is, it's, it's not technically the past yet because it's like that door hasn't completely closed yet, but it's quickly kind of moving into the past and the future. The future is coming up with the coyote. So I want to say there's something about the future that is triggering stress or fear within you because of, it could be something like you're not trusting, you're not trusting something about the future. Maybe you're not trusting something about the future. Um, if this door is closed, it's like you're not sure how to proceed without this element or you're not trusting. Uh, it could just be the like fear of the unknown. You can't, the the future, protecting the future could mean that you, you're not getting a lot of um, foresight about what the future could entail for you, especially if you're so um, completely still engaged in this agreement and trying to figure out how to keep it alive and keep it going. So it's like, maybe you haven't actually looked into the future too much. Maybe you're actually afraid to look into the future, um, assuming that this door may be closing. It's like, you're not wanting to accept or acknowledge that yet because there's this transmuting pain energy at the center of it. But it's like this, it's looking to me like your energy is split, right? It's like looking this way and this way. And it's, so it is absolutely a difficult situation to be in for you. And I want to say that it's exactly why you're taking this time and being in this sacred space in order to um, resolve this for yourself, right? So here's where the guidance is coming in for you. First of all, wheels fortune, right? It's kind of confirming that this is a, a big moment in your timeline. This is a, this is a, well, this is the interesting thing. There's something about that the wheel, the wheel isn't going to turn as long as your energy is split, of course, right? It's kind of holding that um, change back from happening because you are kind almost kind of in, in two places in a sense, energetically, right? It's like, but I, I feel like you're much more in the, in this past situation than in the future situation, but there is still the split there. Absolutely. I'm just noticing that these two cards are both 12, 12. I've been seeing one, two, one, two a bit recently. Anyway, so, okay. So you've got the wheel of fortune here and it's saying this is a big moment for you. That's why you're likely feeling this kind of added weight 
weightedness to the situation because it is a big deal. But there's also this idea that part of the challenge or part of what may be making it more slow to resolve or feeling more burdensome to you is the fact that you're doing it alone, right? Because of this cooperation card is coming up here and because the rainmaker here, I want to say that this is actually a strong encouragement for you to express outwardly everything that you are struggling with here. Not only because, well, these two energies are very kind of closed in on themselves, right? Either direction that you're moving in, it's causing the energy to close in on itself. It needs to open up and be expressed. Um, but it's also kind of bringing in these energies here with wanting new ideas and a renewed passion for the situation. The Rainmaker and the Sun are ending the reading here and it feels like these two cards, right? Again, and it's talking about you kind of being those things in this situation. One of the, one of the ways to do that is to, to be expressive. So it's something like this. The fact that it's like you're feeling like you're keeping everything to yourself, that could be the turning in on itself energy as well too, right? Um, that you're not speaking what you're going through to anybody. You're trying to resolve it on your own. But I feel like maybe because this is an agreement or a contract that involves other people, the best way perhaps to kind of get the energy moving and to find some clarity, right? Because it's like, after the expression and movement is the clarity, the sun, the illumination that you're looking for is to actually just outright communicate everything that you're feeling. The feeling that you're suspecting that the situation is wrapping up, the feeling that you um, are concerned that this could be placing burdens on other people that you're trying to um, remove from them. You see what I'm saying? Or this just the outright pain and stress that it's causing you specifically. The fact that you have um, some concerns about the future, especially if that future doesn't involve the, the whatever this group or dynamic is that you've been involved with for some time. And it's talking about expressing that perhaps, I mean, you know, you use your discernment expressing all of these concerns or all just kind of just getting it all out there. Um, maybe not to just your intimate best friend or your partner, but to the ones that are actually in this agreement with you, right? It's almost like call a meeting and have everybody sit down and talk about it. You may be really surprised to realize that all the others are feeling similarly that, that yes, this is a situation that is about to, reach a completion point, right? Is that's not a bad thing. It just means that it's kind of, the energy has played itself out, right? And it's like, that's why you have this strong desire to bring fresh new energy in because it's like, it's, it's winding down, right? So in expressing your concerns, it could also be something like movement because I get dance from this card obviously too, right? Movement. It's, it could be a common, it's kind of like talking about expressing yourself in all forms. It could be talking about actually physically moving your body it could help the energy begin to move for you. But I feel very strongly that it's especially really kind of um, confirmed by this card here about the cooperation. Your goal can benefit from surrounding yourself with like-minded people. So it's just talking about um, talk, 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 talk it out, talk it out with the people involved specifically, because you may realize that it may help you really resolve these challenging energies because you could, it, just by talking about it, it, that could transmute a lot of the pain here. If there is pain involved or stress, or it feels more like worry or concern for others, it could really put that at rest for you. If, especially if you realize that the others involved are kind of ready to close the door anyway. Um, but also it could kind of alleviate some of the fears that you have about the future because it's like, it's almost like, um, I don't want to say you're gaining permission, but it kind of just feels like the, the pressure is off of you to be able to move into your future without taking this with you, right? It's like you want a fresh, clean start if that is the situation. However it is that it works out for you, whatever the answer is, it feels like a lot of relief is going to come from expressing 
from expressing the to the others in this situation. It's gonna, it's like it, it, it this is the point where um, soothing comes in. It's that it's that after a, a really tense, stressful situation or building anxiety or fear where you're finally just at ease, right? That's how you're ending the reading here, being completely at ease. Because I wanna say that you, I want to say you are absolutely moving forward from this situation, whether or not there's elements of that contract coming, maybe, maybe you're renegotiating the contract. Like I'm not saying that this is a complete closed door that, you know, nothing from that reality is coming with you into your next chapter, but it is this important, big kind of negotiation, re-examining the contract. Um, it's also talking about, this idea that the goal that you have to have new, a renewed passion and new fresh ideas and energy to bring to this situation, it's almost like by embodying that energy yourself, this is coming up in another reading about kind of like going back to an earlier time, maybe going back to the beginning of this contract or the time when this door was completely wide open and feeling welcoming and exciting to you. Going back to that time and remembering in your body how you felt about this situation and kind of renew your own spirit, renew your own passion, and then go into the situation kind of fueled by that, right? And it's going to naturally express from you and it's like everything is going to flow effortlessly from you. It's not doesn't mean that there's not difficult conversations at hand here, but it's like you're going to that's the energy that you want to be embodying when you because that's the goal. That is your goal, right? And you could find especially with this card and surrounding yourself with like-minded people, you could find that it really brings that aspect out of the others involved as well, too, right? So in a sense, if you're looking for renewed energy, it's like be that renewed energy and show up at the table embodying that passion that you had back at the beginning of this situation and just see where it takes you, right? So, okay, I'm gonna to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description. And if not, I will see you next time, Scorpio. Thanks, bye.